Can you see okay? Can you see yourself? No. I, I, I can't see. Um, there we go. Oh, I'm on the other side today. Are you on the other side? Oh, because it's streaming now. Oh, that's right. Oh, wow. But usually I'm, I'm, on, I'm like a parrot on your other show. So, so what it's doing right now is it's, it's streaming us. And we're on, we're live. You're live. This is live. Chris, that was such a great unit on Peter Rabbit yesterday. You like the Peter Rabbit episode? Yeah, Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit. He's our buddy. Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit. Look at that. He's our buddy. Peter Rabbit. Hops. And he's got really soft fur. He's Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit. You know, I wasn't so sure our teachers were getting it about Peter Rabbit and the secret to the foundations of reading. I, I, I couldn't quite tell. Well, they, it's definitely worth checking out. I hope they, they, they watch. I, I, I hope they watch because I, I was thinking like Peter Rabbit, and I was thinking like Peter Rabbit is kind of like the could be seen as a as an entryway to understanding all those concepts. But but we'll see. We'll see. I have a fun I, show today. Today's. And, and we, we have to know these concepts. Because what are we going to know them? Because it's go time. It's go time. You want to pass your test to be a success? It's go time. Yes, it is, John. And it is, it is Friday, April April 3rd. And it is 7 o'clock. 7 oh, oh, no, it's not even 7 o'clock. It's, it's 6.58. Wow. Wow, we're early today. We're early. Wow, that's so cool. That's okay because reading got the science history writing, calculus of physics, even statistics go time. I think it's really important that everything's might and we're using the latest in technology. <laughs> but I, I like this so much better than than the other options that are out there, man, because you know, I feel like you're here in the room, and I'm talking to you, and we're here. I feel like I'm there, too. Yeah. And, like, che felt, Chewy's here, felt, and go ahead. I'm still felt that you should practice teacher certification. Go time. It's go time. What was happening? Oh, wait, what happened? What happened? What's happening? All right. Oh. <clears throat> it says uh, I'm going to leave site, so that might, I don't know if that means uh, I'm going to, uh, oh. Oh no no I don't know for Rick still still streaming but hold on let me let me open it up Okay don't worry the music's still going Okay so if we're still streaming I don't know But let's just uh let's just see how it looks we're going to start the actual presentation Are are you so, so this might be uh, this might be the the stuff that people some of the stuff that people see. Okay, so let's just say I don't know if it's still recording. I'll add that other stuff in, but I'll do a quick let's, se let's segue. Start over. Let's start over. You want to you want to start over? Yeah. Well, I, I I don't see why not. All right, let's start over. Action. Are we live? We're, we're, we're live. We're recording. Oh. Okay, team. We're gonna we're gonna start today. Yeah. Okay, team. We're gonna we're gonna say I'm gonna segue with John for today's episode, April third, uh, two thousand and twenty, Friday, April third, two thousand and twenty, with John. We're gonna segue into Go Times lesson today, and it's gonna be all about the Pythagorean theorem. Oh, the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem. So much to share and so much to see. Like Pythagorean theorem goes like this: a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Chris is gonna show us why we should care and how we're gonna get there. It's go time. It's go time. Chewie's holding the mic. Go Chewie. You want to pass your test to be a success. Go time. All right. All right. We're going to start. 
And uh, and I just want to uh, with Cliff Abraham and Jonathan Aarons. Team, have fun with this, okay? It's it's set. We are recording this live at 7 a.m. on Friday, April 3rd, and this is it's just never too early to learn. It's never too early. This is a time just to uh, have fun with the material. There's a lot going on right now. <laughs> so so use this time. We're trying to be light uh, so that we can make the material a little easier, okay? Now, uh, today's lesson is the Pythagorean theorem. I'm really excited to do this. We'll do a couple of problems. We'll do uh, an A, B, and C problem. An elementary, maybe a, a middle school, and then we'll do more of a high school problem involving the Pythagorean theorem. Do you remember the Pythagorean theorem, John? I do, but you know what? You know what? I really enjoyed. I gotta say, Chris, I really enjoyed the Peter Rabbit you did yesterday. I love. I love the Peter Rabbit lesson too. I mean, I thought that was a great lesson. Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit. He's our buddy. Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit. You know who I made the Peter Rabbit lesson for? What? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't want to. Do you want do do the song again? Do the song again. Peter Rabbit. He's got really soft fur. He's Peter Rabbit. Um, I made the, I, the Pops. Hops is the name of a, a character from Zootopia. Do you know that? Oh, Officer yeah. Hops. I love that movie. I love that movie too. I love that. I mean, Peter Rabbit is, it's a lesson for reading specialists, but but I, you really have to love reading to appreciate it. But uh, Well, to, they're going to love reading once they... Watch this course and learn about Peter Rabbit from you. From me, and and today, today it's all going to be about Pythagorean theorem. Yes, yes. And this is this lesson is for uh, this is for elementary, middle school, and also high school teachers. What I wanted to do with this one right here is I wanted to look at some of the problems, or at least one problem, on the new exams that are coming out in 2020 and 2021 for middle school and high school teachers. So I thought that we'd start with this idea. Do some basic stuff with this idea of reviewing what the Pythagorean theorem is, and then see how we can apply it to, uh, using the same math for elementary to high school. I thought it'd be kind of cool. That's really cool. And, and if I and and this is this is that that right triangle. So this only works with right triangles, and it's saying that if we take the length of A and square it plus the length of B and square it, it's the sum of these two. The sum of A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. That's right. So we're going to be doing this formula. Theorem goes like this. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Chris is going to show us why we should care and how we're going to get there. All right. Let's, let's start today's lesson. I really want to give a, a thank you to John right now. Thank you so much, man, for being here. No, I, I got to start the show. I got to. Uh, okay. All right. I just all right. don't worry. I'm just going to do a, a, I'm going to do a, a cut. I'm going to cut the, I'm going to cut. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to cut scenes here real quick. I'm, I have to go. All right. Yeah. Don't worry. It's a, it's a slow-mo cut. Okay. We're going to cut slow. <laughs> bye. Uh, bye. 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 Have a good day, guys. What, what, what was that? Have a good, have a good day. Okay. Okay. I got to go. I, I'm going to start the lesson though. Okay. No, no, I gotta, I gotta, this is, this is, I'm gonna, all right, all right, no, seriously, seriously. Okay, okay, all right, okay. All right. All right, all right, all right have, have a good day. You want? L learn about your A squared plus B squared equals C squared for right triangles only. Yeah. <laughs> You're a miracle.